are the chosen generation. It's true. Most of you listening are probably part of Generation Z. And if you aren't, that's okay. Being a boomer is cool too. As of recent, we have the most modern resources at our hand, meaning that we have a chance to make as big as an impact on the world as we so wish. We have a huge influence on the world in many ways, but I'm going to mainly discuss the social ways. In this 21st century, we have seen and experienced so many new developments in our world in terms of self-expression and freedom of speech. So we can look to these past developments to further our understanding of our world. So in this talk, I'll give examples of people in the past who have done great things for the advancements of the community with the recent technology of their time, and I will extrapolate which, ways in which we can emulate these people to, be, to help our generation, but to also leave a lasting legacy for the next. So, most of us probably have something that they're passionate about, that we love to do, whether it be singing, baking, dance, writing, doing a sport activity, anything like that. We love doing these things because they allow us to express ourselves. They give us a chance to voice our opinions and our thoughts and, and show the world a deeper, more interest, intrinsic understanding of who we are as a person and what we ultimately wish for. Our artistic end of world allows us to show a world a glimpse of ourselves and art is such a great tool for advocating because it can be in so many different forms, traditional or not, and it can relate to many people. Now, one person who I believe is a maestro of self-expression and passion through art is the Nigerian musician, Fela Kuti. Now, to give you an insight into who he was, Fela Kuti was born in 1938 and he died in 1997. His music, he is most notably known for his music Afrobeats, which consists of jazz, traditional African music, and Brazilian funk. But not only were his tunes great, the messages in his rather long songs always held meaning to them. Lucy quoting him, music was the way in which he was able to offer his commentary on social issues that were prevalent in Nigeria during the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Now the lyrics of his songs mostly consisted of mocking and evaluating society on many of issues such as religious integrity, colorism, and military and government corruption. But while these problems seem big, the simple lyrics, often stating matters in an obvious, profound tone, was enough to sow the seeds of conversation that are still being held to this day. Fellow was a man who was never afraid to show his beliefs. And we should be the same. We should always do what we love, our passions into creating the world a better place, helping people, and ultimately questioning our current environment to make it better for the next. Now, another person who was a big advocate for social change in his time was Muhammad Ali. Now, as many of us might know, Muhammad Ali was once considered to be the greatest boxer in modern history, winning the World Heavyweight Championship three times and defending it on 19 different occasions. Whenever he entered the boxing ring, he fought with such tenacity. He was so physically lyrical, using speed, agility, and power, more coherently than anyone had ever done before him. Now, Muhammad Ali is one of my personal favorite athletes but not only because of his gusto in the boxing ring, but outside of the boxing ring. When he was fighting, he fought with his muscles, but outside, he fought with his words. He was not only an athlete, but also a social activist, advocating for many issues in the United States, one of them being, the most notable, being racial equality. Whenever he was in the presence of the media, he read to Avik, often stating his matters in a very aggressive tone, and he's always told everyone exactly what he thought of everything. His methods of speaking were very unconventional, but they worked at the time. He was able to use his platform as a world-renowned boxer to advocate for his beliefs. 
right up until he died in 2016. So the point I am making is not that we should be some sort of freedom fighter like the musician Salah Kuti was, or a literal fighter like Muhammad Ali. I'm simply stating that in order to make a change as we so wish, we have to be fearless. As Muhammad Ali once said, he who is not courageous enough to take risks in life will accomplish nothing. So don't be afraid. Speak up. Let your voice shine out through your passions and create change. Thank you.